So sometimes this background kind of reminds me of like Sesame Street, you know? I don't know if you guys remember that, when they would have like the dogs come up and they would pretend that they had hands and they were people. The baker, cakes, pies, muffins. What's he baking? A cake, donuts, a pie, cupcake. Perfect. Ah, oh, just right. Anyways, um, hi, I haven't done a video for favorites in forever. Like I think last time was January. So this hasn't been just like May favorites. It's been stuff that has lasted through a few months that I've been like, oh my gosh, my life is so much better now that I have this. So I definitely want to share those with you guys. I love doing favorites videos, so I'm really happy to do this. So I want to start with like beauty and fashion things that have meant a lot to me. And then after that, I'll definitely go into like more smaller miscellaneous stuff. First and foremost, the crown jewel of my closet, Jessie Cam Sailor Pants. I can't believe how much I'm in love with the sailors. I have not tried them because I was just so skittish about what they would look like on me because I'm 5'1", and that's mostly like torso. Like I do not have long legs, and a lot of people think I'm taller than I am, but it's really just like playing with proportions and trying to make it look like I have longer legs than I do. I was actually really surprised at how long my legs ended up looking by wearing the sailors. I think that there's so many like petite rules out there that I really just had to test and try and see if they were true for me. So you might just want to take that advice like for yourself, whatever your body style is, whether you're short, tall, whatever, you know, take photos of your outfits and see for yourself what you look like and how they make you feel. So yeah, I had to try these ones. I was also so happy with the denim in these because I usually get the cotton canvas in the Rangers and I love the Rangers, but now like I feel like I've been converted to the sailors. <laughs> so yeah, these are the light American denim version. A lot of people on Instagram were asking if these were the light American denim and they definitely are. I do need to take in the waist just a little bit in the back, um, but that's pretty much it. I don't know if I'll hem them. I probably will hem them up a little bit, but we will see. The next thing that I picked up were these Nisolo mules. You guys know how much I love Nisolo mules, but um, when I got these ones, a lot of people asked like if I liked these ones better than the Mariella mules. These are the Amas, Ama? I don't know how to pronounce it, A-M-A. What my opinion is between this and the other mules I've tried with Nisolo is that I don't necessarily have a favorite, but the perks of these ones is one, this beautiful weave on top, Two, you see how this is a darker color here? They're usually like more of an ivory and um, that can get a little bit dirty faster with like the Mariellas or other mules. So I was really happy to see that these ones came darker. I didn't even really understand that when I picked these out online. So yeah, I'm super happy with that. It also has a smaller heel. The other mules have like more of a heel so you'll just have to judge for yourself if you want like more of a heel or less of a heel. But I feel like this was really great for summertime. And I don't know why, maybe it's just the heel, but these ones stay on my feet better than the other mules. I, it's gotta be the heel because I place them side by side with the other mules I have. And they're the exact same distance from the end of the shoe. Like there's nothing that I can tell other than the heel that's different, why it would stay on my feet better. Maybe it's just in my imagination. <laughs> But yeah, I'm super happy with these. They go with anything. Usually the mules from there from Nisolo do go with anything, but like I've just found such unique ways to make new outfits with these. Also, you guys, let me know if you'd be interested in like a review of all of my Nisolo shoes. You guys know I wear Nisolo almost every day. So if that would be something you guys are interested in, I definitely want to tape that and see what you guys think. So this next item is kind of more fashion related. So I just have to mention it though because it's something I've never invested in until recently, which is Ray-Ban sunglasses. I looked high and low for the right shape for me. Um, I wanted to get a nice pair of sunglasses because I was going on a trip to Disney with Zach and it was a really special trip and we knew we'd take lots of photos. So I looked back on photos that I've had of other trips and I just, you know, the cheap sunglasses that I would get, like $10 sunglasses, just really um, wasn't as nice for pictures and that's nothing like as classic. So I ended up getting a really classic pair of Ray-Bans that I knew I could wear for years and years and still look good on my face, still be stylish. 
Um, I went with the round ones and this one has a bar across the top. And after I got them, I noticed how many people are wearing the round Ray-Bans. So that was kind of interesting. But I really like the bar on the top on my face more than the round ones. And I actually went to the store and I'm so glad I went to the physical store to like try them on and see which ones worked for me because I actually like these are still a little bit big on me. I could have like the junior size fits my face better. <laughs> But when I tried them on, I was like, nope, this definitely looks like I'm wearing kid sunglasses. Maybe if the lenses were a little bit bigger, I could have done that. So instead, I went with these ones, which is a small of the round classics, and they're also polarized. I was just so skittish about spending money on sunglasses. I wasn't sure if they'd break or how well I'd take care of them, but so far so good. And I also went with the brown color which just, I felt looked better with my features and it was a little bit less um, like dramatic, you know? But the black ones looks good well, good as well. I also love that they're flat lenses. So that just looked really flattering. And when uh, I was checking out, she gave me this case, which <laughs> I loved what she said, which is stuck with me, which is if they're not on your face, they're in the case. And I've actually stuck with that. Um, I never just throw my sunglasses in my purse and wait for them to be scratched by keys and everything. And yeah, so I've had these probably about eight weeks or so. And so far, so good. I'm so happy with them. I love just throwing them on. And now when I'm outside, I just can't believe I, you know, whenever I forget my sunglasses, I just get really ticked. <laughs> so moving on, I got this really nice top from Elizabeth Suzanne. I'm really happy with it, let me show you. So I got this one because like most things on her site, I'm usually like, you know what, this one just looks so unique. There's nothing really out there like that. And I think it would just up my level of unique fashion in my wardrobe. And I also knew this would be something I could have for years because it could work as like a smock when I'm doing art as well. So it's, I believe it's the Harper tunic, but I'll link it down below so you guys can get the exact one. It's uh, linen, which her linen, I feel is just the highest quality. And I just love this pocket, this giant pocket that it has with it. I just love Elizabeth Suzanne, everything that she makes, I want to buy. But this was something that I'm so happy I have in my closet now. So the next thing I needed to get for like spring and summertime is a purse, like a tote bag. And I needed something that was like smaller size because um, I've noticed that in photos, I can really get the wrong sized bag for me. And so I needed something that was on the smaller side. So on me, this actually looks quite big, but it's this beautiful tote that I think is the right size for my body as a tote. It's, you know, it's got leather on the outside, but then this is actually agave. It looks the same on both sides, which is really nice. And then on the bottom, it has leather which is good because I feel like the most of the wear that you'll get out of this is like stuff that is trying to weigh down your purse on the bottom. So they ensured that that has leather and it's not going to break. So I forgot to mention, this is from Lionheart and um, they actually gave me this. So I'm really happy with this one. I loved like all of their purses on their site and they have larger ones as well, but I just loved this one so much. So a couple of beauty items that I got. Um, so Glossier, I got a couple pieces that I was really looking into. Um, one being the Lid Star. When this came out and hit my inbox, I was like, ooh, I really want this. But I couldn't choose a color. Then all of these people started trying them online. And when Estee tried them, um, she couldn't stop raving about this color, which is Cub. So they actually ran out, of course, as soon as that um, was announced. And then I ended up getting one of them. And so I'm so happy with this color. I really like to wear more pinks. Um, as makeup and on my nails. And so um, this was actually a perfect color because it's like a bronzy pink. It's not quite a pink, but it's kind of like copper almost. So I've been loving this. Again, great if you're going on vacation and just don't want to risk bringing powders with you. Um, this was something also that you could layer with. So sometimes, actually today I put it on beneath more eyeshadow. So kind of adds a little bit of sparkle. It is quite glittery, but it doesn't look like I'm wearing glitter on my face. <laughs> so speaking of nails, um, I do wanna talk about how I always wear this color. I've worn this color for like half a year or more. This is something that gets a lot of 
compliments so I just keep wearing it because I can't find a color that I like more and I am also a big fan of the SE gel polish there are some more like natural brands and um, different colors that I would recommend if that's like more what you're into but if you just want really strong nails um, this is what I use and I've never been able to grow out my nails as long as when I wore Essie's gel polish I also like to wear a top coat with it um, but that's for a video for another day. <laughs> um, but yeah, I actually got this color for my mom as well because um, she was like wanting to know what color that I was using. So I just got her one of these as part of her Mother's Day gift. You know, that's actually a good idea because you can always throw in like a nail polish as part of a gift if it's like a neutral color that anyone would wear. And I actually think that this would look really good on everybody's skin tones and look different and just flatter you in different ways. So I'll link this down below, but just for reference, um, this is number 60 in the color Pinned Up. So, yeah. So something I always have in my purse at any given moment is a lint roller. And that's because I have a white fluffy cat, as some of you know. And, you know, I just really don't realize that I need a lint roller until I go out in broad daylight. So I always carry one in my purse. But the problem has been that it sticks to everything in my purse. <laughs> and so then when I'm like, oh, I need my phone and I get my phone out, I have a lint roller stuck to my phone and it's just not very classy. <laughs> so instead, when I went to buy a new lint roller, I found one of these things that um, has really been a lifesaver. So it is called Flint, it's a lint roller, and it's something that you can just unscrew and it, um, you know, it, there's your lint roller and you're gonna screw it back in. It comes in different colors. I believe there was like a black one and I really wanted to get that one, but then I thought, I'm never gonna be able to find it in my purse. <laughs> so I ended up getting this like neon bright pink one. It's really cute. It's got like a watermelon color scheme here. I will link this if I can find it online. And it actually picks up hair quite well. Like it's not one of these cheapo lint rollers that doesn't do anything. So the next thing that I wanna talk about is for vacation, Zach picked up two of these cameras for us. They're film cameras. And whereas I won't be able to go into all of the, de the tech details about this stuff, that's more like Zach's territory, but um, I will be able to say like, this is a Olympus Stylus Epic. Um, and I know that because he told me. It was just really fun to be able to take film pictures while we were on vacation. These ones are more handheld. They definitely brought back memories to when I was a kid and I would use film cameras, like the disposable kind. But this was really fun because I was able to like take as many photos as I wanted on vacation and they could, you know, just capture whatever I was seeing at that moment. It wasn't like I had to have my phone out all the time and like take thousands of photos that I was never going to print or see again. So we ended up taking quite a few photos while we were at Disney and um, sent them all off to get them developed. And we got both the digital versions and the print versions of all of our photos of vacation. So now like we'll be able to flip through them and remember them or frame them. And it just made such a difference on our trip. And then looking back through photos just makes you feel like you're on vacation again. And it's so much different than just like flipping through the photos that we took on our phone. While I was at Disney in Epcot, um, I love going to the England area, and um, this is my second trip where I've picked out a teacup. So this teacup is just absolutely gorgeous. I love it because it's got like all of the different flowers on it and describes what the flower is called with like bees and butterflies. And that's just something I love to do is every time I go there, I pick out a teacup for my collection. So for my birthday, I actually asked my parents to get me candlesticks. Um, I've obviously used them quite a bit since then, um, but these ones are really special to me because the candlesticks themselves um, are from my hometown and my hometown's kind of like ye old. <laughs> and so um, it's made with uh, beeswax and tallow and it's got a cotton wick and so that type of thing I just love in general and candlesticks was something I didn't really have in my house so they also got me these candlestick holders which are pewter 
and I love the fact that they were used, like they have character in them and detail. And my mom kept apologizing, like, I know for your birthday we should have gotten you like brand new ones. And I said, no, no, I want something with character. I want something old. So these are just so nice to have in my house. And I try to just burn them on special occasions, but I'm already like burning them too much. <laughs> I need to like slow it down. So going along with that theme, just by chance, um, the other week my friend sent me candlesticks without knowing all of that. Um, and so these ones are beeswax. She said that nuns actually make these by hand and I just love that idea. Um, it's just so cool whenever I can have like natural burning like candles or candlesticks. So I'm really excited about these as well. And that was just like such a random occurrence that like I wanted candlesticks for my birthday and then these actually arrived in the mail. <laughs> so thanks so much, Rachel, by the way. So this last thing is more of a tip that I have. Um, I love to fill my home with flowers and plants. And you know, flowers can be pretty expensive, especially if you get them ordered. But one thing that I love to do is go to my grocery store and they usually have ones that are on sale that they're just trying to like reduce inventory before they start to like wilt and stuff. And I like to get these flowers. I actually got, Okay, so it was four bouquets of tulips with lavender, and then I also got eucalyptus and a bunch of other greens, and each bouquet was like 50 cents. So I ended up getting about $3 worth of flowers that filled my whole home. And I would say that if I would have gotten that anywhere else, even full price at the grocery store would have been a lot of money. But yeah, like just sort through like the clearance bin because I've actually found great classic uh, flowers like these ones for like dirt cheap um, and that's just fun too like if you just want to assemble a bouquet for somebody that you know that's actually really special it doesn't have to cost a lot to be able to do that so guys that pretty much wraps up my favorites for you know between February and May like there was so much to talk about and it was fun to be able to do this again I feel like I'm actually starting to lose my voice a little bit <laughs> after all of this but I hope that you guys really liked these pieces and as always like if you have questions about anything just leave them in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys I try to post like three times a week so I'll see you then bye